Hey guys, it's Numa Stacker here, and uh, today I'm bringing you something that I've certainly been waiting for, I know many of you have also been waiting for, and it is the exciting, long-awaited um, unboxing of the Mega Grading by NGC, the biggest and most spectacular ungrading or grading unboxing that, uh, that I've ever done. And uh, I know a lot of the guys on the Silver Forum are waiting very eagerly for this particular um, unboxing to see exactly what's happened to all the amazing coins and medals that they sent me. So just to recap, there's um, just over, I think, 100 uh, coins in, in this box, and uh, they cover six different tiers. Uh, within the NGC grading system, so there's some NCS conservations, some value, some uh, modern, some gold, and stuff like that. So there's a combination of gold, um, silver, uh, proofs, BU, medals, um, old, new, and, uh, and it's uh, a great fun thing to do. So it's going to take two or three videos to get through everything that there is here. So uh, let's make a start and take a look at what is in the first box. I've got no way of knowing what order these are gonna come out at. I picked the smallest box, actually, that was right at the top. So uh, maybe this have, may have some of the minor orders in it. So uh, you can see there's some one single and uh, a few doubles. The double ones normally contain um, Chinese medals because they a lot of them are 62, 65 grams, double thickness medals. Uh, this one is the Nanjing Panda 2015, uh, PF70. So I think there are, God, I can't remember exactly how fan. It's either, it's either 199 or 299 of these that were made. Um, I'll have to look it up at some stage. But there aren't very many of these things, so to get a 70 is always very good. Then we have the ultra, ultra rare um, antique version of the Nanjing Panda. There are only 30 of these. Uh, it's a nice easy number to remember, so I always remember there are 30 silver, 30 brass, and 30 copper with the antique finish. Uh, and I think these sold out before they ever really even went on sale. And this one's got a 69. 69 is pretty good. I think uh, that might even be one of the best that's ever graded at 69, because antiques don't generally get the same kind of grades. This one is the... Uh, Affectionately known as the Fat Belly Panda Luna, this is the, the kind of folksy design. The, there are 99 of these that have been minted, and this is the one that uh, came via Lucky Moniero in Shanghai. Um, great set of coins, a lot of people collecting these. A lot of people have been going back to the original goat and the monkey, uh, collecting the other rooster design that you'll see in this unboxing as well. Great um, low mintage, uh, high quality set of coins from Shenyang Mint. This is one that uh, originally was um, graded by NGC and they had the wrong label on it. Um, and the, they didn't really know what to call it, but um, they've now settled on calling it the Panda Temple of Heaven. Uh, and it's actually going to be an annual coin. So it was quite important to send these back to be correctly marked. They were originally first release or early release coins, but they didn't put the early releases on the previous label. So these were sent back, if you remember, a few videos back uh, with a mechanical uh, adjustment kind of form completed. And NGC did a free of charge change to the label on this to give them the correct label and the first releases or early releases designation. So there are three of those. Uh, the bimetallic, this one, uh, got a 70. The other two that I bought got a 69, unfortunately, but uh, there's not very much between a 69 and a 70. We all know that. So um, this one has actually got a lot of... Um, if you ever if you collect uh, or subscribe to the Pricepedia, the Panda Pricepedia from Peter Anthony, there's actually an article about these coins in this month's edition. And uh, Peter has bought some of these coins for himself, and they're going to be featured in the uh, the monthly Panda Price Guide. Um, this one is the Panda Temple of Heaven, but they haven't called it that. For some reason, NGC are just calling it the Panda. 
And I did request the larger Panda label, and there is a story about Panda labelling, which I won't go into right now, but you can see there are two types of labels. There's, a, there's one that's uh, available to bulk submitters, and there's one that's available to the general public. They should have used the bulk submitters label on this, because my membership of NGC is at the elite level, which gives me, um, the, should give me the right to use the large label. But, um, so these are actually going back to NGC to be relabeled so they match the ones that have the other larger Panda label. I know it's a little bit anal, but when I look at them standing in a row, I want them to have the same label on. NGC have admitted that um, they can they can repair this damage for me. Then they want to make me happy, which is nice. They're quite an obliging company. Get on very well with NGC customer services, who I talk to quite regularly. Uh, anyway, so these three will actually be sent back with the next grading to have their labels changed. So, onward. That was the first box of a number of boxes. If you're still with me and you're still interested in what's in these boxes, then hopefully we should have some even more exciting things for you in the second box. So, here goes. I have Again, I don't know what's going to be in this box. I don't know which one... Uh, it is. Um, so many boxes. Um, it could either be medals or it could be some coins or it could be a combination of different things. So stay with me. And uh, every one of them is a gem. So don't fast forward or you'll miss lots of good stuff. Um, so a very crowded box full of coins. Um, I quite like the NGC packaging. I think they package. I haven't never had a problem with damage really during uh, during transit for any of these coins. And where you have a bulk submission like this, it's, it's important to note that it actually arrives quite quickly because they tend to send the bigger submissions by um, EMS kind of mail. So they normally arrive in three, four, five days. Okay, sovereigns, 1821. This was a beautiful coin, and still is a beautiful coin, and you may have seen the original unboxing of it. I was hoping it would get a 58 or a 61 or a 62. It looked absolutely lovely to me, but NGC, in their wisdom, found fault with it. They found fault, as they have done on a number of coins in the past, and in this submission, surface hairlines. I don't really understand why this should be a details grading when the coin looks so good. I think uh, there's an element of BS on this particular thing, but I guess they have their ways of doing things. So not quite sure what to do with that one. The panda. This panda went to NCS for conservation. Uh, it was in the OMP and it was conserved and it got a 68. For an old panda, that's not really too bad at all. Um, you know, some of these things... Uh, I think if they're kept in the OMP for too long, I think they, you know, it's not very good for their future grading, and I think the quality is a lot better now. The next one also went to NCS for grading, and they couldn't um, conserve it or they couldn't grade it. They discovered that this beautiful half ounce panda was slightly bent. Um, it wasn't really very noticeable when I was handling it originally. I didn't see that it was bent when it went to them, but obviously now you see it in the uh, in the holder, you can see that there is a slight warp in it, um, so they couldn't conserve that, unfortunately. This next one was conserved by NCS and then graded, and it got uh, 69, which is very good for a 1994 panda. Very happy with that. The person whose panda that is is very happy with it. And... Um, I certainly think that conservation generally does slightly improve the grades of these things and it's only a few dollars extra to have the conservation done. It takes a little bit of extra time, uh, a couple of weeks of extra time at NGC to do the conservation. But um, from what I can see it's worth it on a lot of these because when they went in uh, all the ones, all these little ones that were conserved had a little bit of red spotting. All the red spotting has now been removed through conservation and they've got a good grade as well. So, very good thing to do. Um, a lot of people who have the expensive silver pandas also, <coughs> pardon me, they also like to have them conserved as well. Um, so, 
normally when people send through the the expensive early silver pandas it's a good idea to have them conserved even though it costs more money um, the difference is only about ten dollars and there's an extra two weeks but for that ten dollars you end up with a nicer coin once it's in the in the slab so you can see here that that one um, panda surface hairlines not good uh, now we get to some of the other medals this is again the, the same as you saw originally, this is another one of the uh, antique versions, 99 of those. They call it Rooster with Treasure. So if you see the Panda Luna that's called Rooster with Treasure, that's the lucky version. So again, another one, PF70. These antiques from Shenyang, I think, are the best that are made. Uh, they've got a great process for antiquing these coins. They look good. You don't really see any kind of scratching. It's just a really nice finish. And NGC seem to recognise that by giving them uh, a 70, a lot of these, um, which they never used to for antique kind of medals. But I think it's a great design. There's a couple of silver proofs here, quite a few antiques. Um, and I've got, uh, I think, I've got three, I think, of the lucky antiques and uh, a couple of the silver proofs. So uh, I've got a few of those in the collection. This one is the fourth coin collection expo. Uh, PF69 for this, I think is as good as it gets. I'm not sure, maybe there's been three, um, three seventies graded so far. Um, I don't think Sh uh, Shanghai Mint do the antiquing in any way as good a, a way as Shenyang. So uh, I think you can see that it's a much more consistently perfect finish. That's the uh, ChineseMedals.com version uh, of, uh, of the Panda Luna. That's the what we call the classic version, and there's also 99 of those. Here's them together. You've got the Fat Panda and the, uh, the Crouching Panda. Um, same kind of quality out of Shenyang. And uh, if you look at the reverse side, then you see the folksy option or the classic rooster. Um, I can't really decide between these. Some people like one, some people like the other. I like both of them, I collect both of them, and this is a series I'm going to continue to build over time for my personal collection. Uh, I think it's one of the absolute best Chinese medals that you can collect, uh, the Panda Luna. Um, each one of them has been great so far, and they also do them in silver, and they're like two ounces of chunky silver. Um, can't see anything at all not to not to like about these there's 499 of each of the silver proof ones 99 each of the uh, antique ones and uh, I'm not sure that so far they've actually um, minted all of the silver proofs anyway there you have it that's the first part keep an eye out for the second part of this massive mega unboxing and let me know what you guys think of the stuff that you've seen here today in this first part